In today's Your Healthy Family is part of Donate Life Month, I'm introducing you to three brothers from Canyon City who all suffer from an extremely rare condition. Meet Marcus, Christopher, and Austin Root. Here we have Austin, who is 10. And we have Christopher, who is 11. We have Marcus, who is 12, that will be almost 13 years old. All three share a love of life and each other and their family. And they also share a rare disorder called cystinosis. Their journey began in 2007 when Marcus was just 13 months old and went into kidney failure. When Marcus was first diagnosed, he was life flighted to Denver Children's and like at the time we were living in Wyoming, none of the doctors there could tell us what was wrong with him. By the time Marcus's cystinosis was diagnosed, Christopher was already on the way, but he was misdiagnosed at birth as not having cystinosis. Christopher also suffered renal failure at 14 months of age and that's when he was properly diagnosed and Austin was already on the way. He was diagnosed right at birth. Um, they did the lab draws. We were able to start his treatments right at birth. Dr. Margaret Bach, a pediatric nephrologist with Children's Colorado says, the odds of three boys in one family in a row getting the disease in itself is very rare. First, both parents have to be carriers. So the way cystinosis is inherited is um, typically in families, um, people are carriers, which doesn't cause any kind of um, disease in them. And then if you have two carriers who are lucky enough to find each other, then if those folks have kids, um, you have a one in four chance of having a child with cystinosis. They tell you you're only gonna have one out of four biological kids yeah. who get this rare disorder. And as far as I know, we're the only ones that have three that are not twins or triplets in the, in the whole world. There's only 2,000 reported cases with cystinosis. And every case with cystinosis, there is gonna be renal failure. Cysteine is one of the amino acids, so one of the building blocks of um, sort of us as human beings. People who have cystinosis, which is a very, very rare condition, have difficulty removing the cysteine from the places where it shouldn't be. And so it accumulates in all parts of the body, meaning in the brain, in the kidneys, in the muscles, in the thyroid, so on the bones, all parts of the body that you can think of. Since it's not supposed to be there, it um, gradually causes damage. Typically, it presents in in children with um, them failing to thrive, which is our term for saying not gaining weight well and not growing. Often the kids who have cystinosis also have a very large amount of thirst and pee a lot, which is sort of a function of what's happening when the cysteine, the, that amino acid is um, being deposited in the kidney and causing that kind of damage. So we get these stories, you know, my kid's not growing, they're not gaining weight and they wake up at night and drink multiple cups of water. Um, those sort of put our ears alert that this might be related to cystinosis. Cystinosis continues to be a challenging disease, but treatment has come a long way, says Dr. Bach. Kids with cystinosis many, you know, decades ago didn't survive long into adulthood and um, survival is now improving and improving over time and these kids turn into adults and leave, lead very normal full lives. With improvement in our medications and um, care and such, those, the lifespan continues to get longer and longer and longer. And in part two of my story about these three brothers, the next crucial step in their journey kidney transplant, and I'll have that for you later this week. For your healthy family, I'm Ira Cronin. For more health stories, head to yourhealthyfamily.com.